Here's a comment that we've gotten from former President Barack Obama on John Lewis's passing that I want to bring to you. America is a constant work in progress. What gives each new generation purpose is to take up the unfinished work of the last and carry it farther, to speak out for what's right, to challenge an unjust status quo, and to imagine a better world. John Lewis, one of the original Freedom Riders, chairman of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, the youngest speaker at the March on Washington, leader of the march from Selma to Montgomery, member of Congress representing the people of Georgia for 33 years, not only assumed that responsibility, he made it his life's work. He loved this country so much that he risked his life and his blood so it might live up to its promise. And through the decades, he not only gave all of himself to the cause of freedom and justice, but inspired generations that followed to try to live up to his example. We're going to read a couple of more statements to you before the top of the hour that are coming in about the death of John Lewis. This comes from the Congressional Black Caucus, with which John Lewis was a member. The world has lost a legend. The civil rights movement has lost an icon. The city of Atlanta has lost one of its most fearless leaders, and the Congressional Black Caucus has lost our longest serving member. The Congressional Black Caucus is known as the Conscience of Congress. John Lewis was the conscience of our caucus. A fighter for justice until the end, Mr. Lewis recently visited Black Lives Matter Plaza in Washington, D.C. His mere presence encouraged a new generation of activists to speak up and speak out and get into good trouble to continue bending the arc toward justice and freedom. The city of Atlanta has lost one of its most fearless leaders. Congressman John Lewis spent his life fighting racism and injustice wherever he confronted it, from boycotts, sit-ins, and other protests in the streets, to championing bold, progressive policies in Congress. Mr. Lewis was born and raised in, in, in Troy, Alabama, a segregated town of the Deep South. At an early age, he was inspired by the nonviolent activism of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his leadership of the Montgomery Boys Boycott, Bus Boycott. This passion drove Mr. Lewis to dedicate himself and his life to the Civil Rights Movement.